Welcome to the Tartan Sofa. Here's another review. Some more gear I bought recently. Uh, these are uh, dry bags. I've been after a couple of sets of dry bags, um, primarily for obviously for keeping equipment dry in rucksacks and whatnot. Um, also for keeping maps dry, hence the clear bags. And also lights. Um, yes, I can use these for camping. I bought these mostly for work. Uh, working as an electrician, I do a lot of inspection and test work which involves working in dark cupboards, having to switch the power off, obviously work on circuits, dead and whatnot. So good lighting is essential basically in my work. So yeah, here's a couple of lights I bought recently. So let's let's get on with the review. Right, so first item for review, the Sabre Sensor Beam Headlight. Now I saw this on eBay. Um, I was quite interested in this, as it's got a little sensor in it. Basically you wave your hand in front of the sensor and it switches the light on and off. Um, so I thought, okay, yes, yeah, so quite an intriguing, intriguing concept. Light itself, um, quite decent. You've got two buttons on the T, obviously got your on-off button there. That is your sensor setting button. Um, if you press it once, it should give you, or press and hold it, sorry, yes, press and hold. That gives you the state of the battery charge there with a little LED indication there. Four LEDs, obviously, with, with sort of three quarters charged at the moment. Um, so basically, that's your on setting. And you have a sensor. Just wave your hand in front of it. Switches it on and off. It's a brilliant idea. Until you start working in enclosed spaces, and you say that's the wall of the cupboard or something in the inside the cupboard you move your head towards it switches it on and you're sort of working around move your head near it again switches it off brilliant yeah great so that's all right it's a bit of a gimmick to be honest with you um, I tend to use the other set which is the plane on and off so you've got this first level of light brightness so we point it there a slightly dimmer light setting, which I tend to use that more often. You have a flashing white light. You have a green light. Flashing green light. And off. Now, on the listing on eBay, they're saying it's a battery life of 5 to 10 hours. If you look actually on the instructions and on the box... It's actually a life of five hours um, from a three hour charge. It, it takes obviously from empty to full charge, it's three hours. But five hours light, it's not bad. It's 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 quite good. Um light itself comes in a little carrier. Uh it's got these things, it's got the strap that goes clicks through these bits here. So that strap is quite secure. Um, compared to cheap cheap headlights that I bought previously, I'll just grab one here. This was eight pounds off eBay. Um, I bought a couple of these thinking, yeah, they'll do the job. And to be honest, they're crap. They're absolute rubbish. Uh, battery life, you're lucky if you get half an hour to an hour. You've got two light settings, so you've got a You've got the little Cree light there, and then you've got the bar light underneath, which is more of a floodlight. USB rechargeable. But to be honest with you, <laughs> I wouldn't waste your money. Really wouldn't. Um, first time I used it, these little plastic things here, see there, that side, where the strap goes in, they snapped off on that side, so I've had to super glue it in. Um, the clip that holds the light fitting in place, it's got a U-shaped clip, that's snapped off. Still holds it just about, but honestly, for what that costs, I wouldn't bother. Spend another tenner, get one of these. It's not a bad bit of kit. If, if, you, if you forget about the, the gimmicky sensor beam thing, which... Okay, out in the open, it might not be so bad. Um, but if, you, if you're if using it for work and you're in 
enclosed tight spaces it's just going to drive you up the wall constantly switching on and off every time you move your head near something so but otherwise yeah it's a good thing it's not bad it comes with a nice little carry case as well so it all goes in in there these are i believe primarily designed for fishermen um saber is a, a fishing tackle brand um but obviously for outdoors for, for general work use not a bad little bit of kit I'll just nip out into the garden just give you an idea of the, the sensor beams um, capabilities so this is on the bright setting I mean the trees what 15 feet away from me um, it's not bad yeah not bad at all lower setting again it's still plenty bright enough to see what you're doing. Can you see the flashing light, the green light setting. A little bit closer. Yeah, not bad. It gives you enough light to see by. And obviously the flashing setting, there we go. So, recharging wise, you've got this. USB recharging port underneath. Um, can't remember the type of connector. Is it a C or an S type? I can't remember. It's not the micro USB anyway. It's, it's that's a different type. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much that. Um, yeah, all round it's nice, chunky, solid. You know, that's going to take knocks. That's not a bad. Not a bad thing, it's a tough plastic case. That's fairly, yeah, looks quite durable. As I say, the carrier for it, it, it actually clicks in and out of this carrier, if I think, remember rightly. Or does it? No, no, maybe not. No, I think that's built into the carrier bit, but yeah, the, the strap comes in, comes on and off. But yeah, it's got uh, there you go, angle adjustment. So you can point it up or down however you want it. It's got a good range of adjustment on it as well. Um, all in all, I think, yeah, it's worth the 18 quid. Definitely. Nice bit of kit. Right, so that was the sensor beam. Good light, that is. Not bad at all. Um, now the next one. You may have seen me use this in one of my other videos if you've watched them. Um, the one where I went into the World War II bunker uh, on my local airfield. Uh, this I bought not long before Christmas. Uh, local electrical wholesalers, uh, Rexel. They used to be called New Ian Airs. Um, for some reason they're now called Rexels. They were doing these on sale. Uh, gap lighting. Uh, it's a little LED floodlight thing. Handheld. Um, it's also got a little angle bracket on the back you can also use it as a power bank um, you've got obviously a recharging socket there micro USB one and you've got a USB output so you can use it as a power bank for charging your mobile phone or whatever um, yeah it's a decent light you've got a couple of settings on it you've got there's a bright setting Brighter setting, got an amber flash, so you could use it, keep it in your car, you can, sorry there we are, <laughs> I'll bring it into focus, shall I, into the camera so you can see what we've got, yeah it's got an amber flash on it so you can use it as a hazard light if you carry it in your car, it's got, goes through a cycle of different flash modes as well, I've never spotted that before, so yeah that's quite neat, disco time, anyway yeah. Um, yeah, they were knocking these out, 20 quid a throw, I thought, wow, just the sort of thing again for work, for using in meter cupboards, uh, electric cupboards, that sort of thing, it's not bad at all, you can sort of sit it, sit it how you want, um, battery life, it's 
better duration than the uh, sensor beam we've reviewed. Uh, what we got? Let's have a look at the instructions here. A nice little book of instructions. Uh, it did say, I think on the low setting, it was something like about 10 hours battery life. Um, may even say on the back here. It's uh, 5,400 milliamp hour, milliampere hour, 3.7 volt lithium ion cell. Um, you've got cob LEDs, you see you've got a 5 watt there, um, which ranges between 220 on the slightly dimmer setting, 400 lumens on the brighter setting, uh, plus an amber flash. It's a good bit of kit. So I've used it several times. Um, more than powerful enough to light up the work area. Um, it's nice and handy, fits in the palm of your hand, fits in the pocket of a jacket or trouser pocket. So it's a good all round piece of kit. Uh, yeah, definitely worth the 20 quid I paid for it. Um, so yeah, let's just nip outside again and uh, we'll show you what it's like outside. First setting. Second setting. Yeah. Quite bright. It lights the ground up better. There we are. Orange flash. And off. So, there we go. All in all, really useful. Um, I can see that fitting into a backpack quite nicely. If you want something that gives you a good spread of light around where you where you are. I would recommend one of them. So, these plastic bags. Uh, it was £10 for a set of three off Amazon. Got une, deux and trois. So you've got a daddy bag, a mummy bag and a baby bag. Uh, like I said, not had a proper chance to have a look at them, so uh, let's have a, have a squint. I like the drawstring and it's sealed round where the drawstring goes through, which is nice. So how do you get into... Oh, it's a Velcro thing. Right, okay. This is different. So this is folded over. Intriguing. Ah, and you've got like a Ziploc. Hmm. Yeah. Decently thick polythene, plastic, whatever it is. Vinyl. Not sort of PVC sort of material. Yeah. It's uh, obviously heat welded seam all the way around. Uh, again, that looks like that's heat welded onto there. I'm intrigued by the little Velcro strip on that. That's... That's different. So let me fold that over. Well, zip it up first, probably the best thing. Hmm. I'm not so sure about that zip lock. Oh, it does zip lock, yeah. Fold it over. Don't crow it shut. Yeah, not bad. Right. What sort of size would that. Not much cop for a OS map. Bigger one might be better. Let's have a look. Get the damn bag. Right, there we go. Pop 
up the flaps. So, OS map and a compass. Because that's what you'd really want it for, isn't it? You, you'd, you'd want it for keeping your, keeping your map dry. Um, so let's have it opened out because you probably want to be reading the map while you're out walking somewhere. So maybe probably like that. You probably want to be looking at that particular section so you don't have to get your map out in the rain. See, that's the problem there but didn't have that silly little welded thing there you'd be able to get your get your map in easy but as it is a little bit of a fight that said though you can get it in there You can read it through the plastic. So yeah, that's fairly good. So let's oh, zip the ziplock. And the Velcro. Yeah. That'll do the job. Like I say, they weren't massively expensive, a £10 for a set of three, but uh, yeah, that'd do the job. Nice lan lanyard there, you can hang it around your neck. So, useful. Um, I suppose that smaller one you'd, what? I suppose you could put matches, a lighter, uh, that sort of thing in there, to keep it, keep it dry. Yeah. yeah, they're useful enough, I suppose. Uh, so, yeah, I think they do the job. Right, next ones are these that I picked up from a local camping shop not far from me. Uh, big shout out to Little Movers. Um, if you've not been in there, uh, they're just by the railway station in Dis. Well worth a visit. That's a little Aladdin's cave. It's, it's, it's a tiny little place, but it's deceptively stocked. There is a heck of a lot of stuff they've got in there. Um, all sorts for, for camping, caravanning. They also do fuels for, for, for coal fires, wood burners, all that sort of stuff. They, they really are a, a great little store. So, yeah, big shout out there to Little Movers. So, right, the Yellowstone three dry sacks pack. Uh, this was 5p short of eight quid, so £7.95. What you get in the pack, you get three of these bags. Uh... They are a 2000 hydrostatic head, um, I think it looks like uh, nylon fabric. Basically, you know the sort of thing, little buckle strap, holds over itself, rolls over. And it's just a pouch bag, just for keeping stuff in. So, yeah. That's the sort of thing. Click it together. Should in theory keep all your gear dry. Um, looks like ripstop fabric, I think. Looking at it. Um, someone will probably tell me different. But that looks decent enough. Stitching looks quite durable. Taped seams. So moisture shouldn't get through the seams. And yeah, like I say, your usual twist it over and snap it together fastening. How simple is that? Three of those for a tad under eight quid. I think that's a bargain. Right, while I'm videoing this, I'll make quick mention of the kettle. You've seen me use it a couple of times on other videos. Uh, for brew ups halfway around on walks. Uh, this was about £12 off eBay. Stainless steel. 
good. Pardon the rust marks in there. I what I did, I left the gas cylinder for my little camping stove in there. Being a steel gas cylinder and it had a bit of moisture in the thing and that's just rusted a bit. It's not actually the stainless steel, it's actually off the, the little gas cylinder I had in there. Um, but yeah, decent little kettle. Snap it together like that. But it also doubles up if you unscrew the knurled knob. And swap the handle around. Line it up. And you can use it just like a saucepan as well. Uh, good versatile little thing for, for one one or two people for having a brat. Yeah. Again, another nice little bit of kit. Very useful. Okay. Well, that, that wraps it up for this one. Not a long video by any stretch, but uh, hopefully you found it informative and interesting. Please leave a comment below if, you, uh, if you've got anything to say about it. Love to hear your views and... Uh, what your experiences are and what your recommendations are for other other gear to try like i said it's not expensive stuff um you know sort of 10 pound for bag three bags eight pounds for the for the, the dry bags there 18 quid for the sensor beam which again i, I think is well worth the money it's, it's proved itself invaluable the last few weeks at work same with the the um gap light that, that has been absolutely brilliant. It's done sterling service and I look forward to trying that out next time I go camping. So, yes, that's it. That's the review. Please click the, the like button if you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click the little bell button to give yourself notifications for the next one I make. And until then, I'll say goodbye. <laughs>